All right. So, um, doing a little bit earlier than usual, actually, this week. Um, I just came to the podium here to check if the best team in the game has changed. Nope. Still the same one as last week. By the way, one day I'll work on that. Um, oh, I clicked on the, the wrong thing. That, um, that goddamn... Triple defense gallon you are gear one day one day just for Tarmia But interestingly uh, third place actually changed from using green gill to blue gill, which I think is You know more damage for Tarmia There are a lot of times when you are facing other mono blues and because they maybe have a level 3 damage reduction You don't end up one-shotting them blue gill might actually be a good choice actually over green gill But I think it's give or take Interesting though, number two place is Bon, and I know why, <laughs> god I know why, that goddamn holy relic is powerful, and uh, oh, I clicked the wrong thing again, he is using um, HP crit, I think I'm gonna change to this as well, for my Bon, HP crit, just for the extra damage, um, with Sauriel Link as well, uh, man, HP defense Easton. I gave my Easton an attack crit because, um, at the time, it was, like, when Green Easton came out and I wanted her for DPS, but also a little bit tanky, so attack defense might actually roll out HP for her. No, you are gear for Twigo. I'm very disappointed. Um, Lilia Link? Okay, nah. Could have used, like, Ludo Link or something, but, um, let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play against him. Just to see if he has the Holy Relic, which I'm assuming he does. Um, unfortunately, I can't play against him. Okay, he he might be um, heavy not, not show. Oh, I did. <laughs> I should have che I, like checked my team to have higher CC, but that's okay. Um, the Holy Relic is really powerful. So the way the Holy Relic works for Bon, um, there's I don't think there's a translation on the Grand Cross database, but Every time an ally dies, Bon gets an extra 15% HP related stats um, that stacks, and it works in the back as well. Let's open him up. There it is. So he's not, you can actually hide the Holy Relic. It's not showing, but here it is. The passive is right here. The Holy Relic is right there. I just want you to confirm. Um, so the Holy Relic is really powerful. And I want to actually also see if he has the Holy Relic on on Twigo as well. So these Holy Relics are game changing. Like the Bond team was not in the podium even when it came out, but now, now it is uh, when the Holy Relic comes out. That means something. So I'm I'm um, I'm I am really excited to see what other uh, Holy Relics are going to come out. And also, hoping that oh, I have I have this wrong action one by type, and also hoping that um, you know more units are gonna come out. They're gonna actually allow us to finish the the bird stage. Currently, it is physically impossible to beat stage three. No one has beaten it, and it seems like no one can beat stage two. Like the no one can beat phase two of the third stage yet. I've checked every YouTuber. <laughs> That has beaten stage 2. Um, and every attempt I see of them trying to do stage 3, I've tried myself. I died, I died first phase. Like, it's just... Because I, I also didn't have all my units. I had... Uh, my Dan had died. So, it was impossible for me to even beat the first phase. It's like... That, that bird's impossible to do right now. So, it's gonna take, what? Five weeks? Five weeks for us to get the like a holy relic. If you can't beat stage three because you get three a week, you need fifteen. It takes five weeks to get a holy relic. Um, that's not even counting. It, okay, it is counting. Um, they also have to farm the stage as well. You don't just do it once a week. You have to farm. Wait, let me, I'm talking. I'm losing. I'm losing. Um, I'm losing focus on finding the characters. And I'm gonna go for some mono blue because it's, you know, maybe what I would consider to be the best team in the game right now because, you know, the what, what, what happened there? 
Well, actually, I need to put cards. I don't know if those teams have cards on, but I'm gonna assume so. So give me a second again. Still no SSR card, by the way. Every day, I open card packs with the chance of getting those, those beautiful, beautiful SSR cards, but nothing comes through. Uh, so here's the thing, right? Killing Arthur is usually the first thing you go for, for when you're facing Bond, because it's an easier kill. Not using food, by the way, because um, there's really no point to it. Um, oh. I mean, see, this is a bot. I, I, I may, I'm mostly, you know, facing him because I actually wanna... I'm just gonna, I guess, attack with Liz if I was stunning, because he's gonna kill the clans anyways. Um... I'm just want to attack because uh, I just want to, you know, see the holy. I can't see the holy relic because it's not showing that. Because I guess he wants to, you know, make the enemy think he doesn't have it. Um, but you know, I was just thinking like the, this holy relic is a big deal. Because I was thinking, you know, Bon is a really good team, but these days, not really that many people use Bon. But really, if he got number two using Bond, that's a big deal. Because Bond is a very inconsistent team, but if the Holy Relic makes it a little more consistent, because again, you go first for Arthur because it's an easier target, and you take out a lot of the damage from Bond because you remove a lot of the HP, and you also remove the extra damage he does. But. When you kill Arthur, you're giving Bon HP as well, like anyways. So he's not losing that much more. As he was before. He's not losing as much as he used to. I'm gonna go with the blue card, I guess. Um I'm not gonna use a time card because I wanna wait for a reason to use it. I'll actually want to make a video purposely finding bonds with holy relics. Um, to see if I can win against them. I mean, I definitely would, but... Um, I think this team is better than Bon. But, couldn't find anyone. It's just, not that many people are, you know, buying it because... For two reasons. First, the packs are absurdly overpriced. Oh my god. Second, again, not that many people are using Bon. So that really adds up to it. We should get. Oh, we should get stun here, but that's fine. Use the Margaret card as well, because why not? Not that many people are using Bond. And. And the packs are absurdly overpriced, so of course, not that many people are gonna buy it. Um, so that it's, it was like impossible to find people with holy relics. Like, I sat there for like hours and then I gave up, and then whatever, like. Time else I've played PvP throughout this whole week and before couldn't find no one. The only people, the only people I found with Holy Relics were all bots. Um, so that was unfortunate. But it's just uh, it's really powerful. Like the whole the Holy Relic system is really powerful, and I am a little scared um, that they're gonna pump out very quick more. I got like I got zero blue cards for Margaret. That's very bad, very 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 bad. I'm a little scared they're gonna pump out more, really quickly, because again it takes five weeks to get one, because of how absurdly difficult the stage is. And the only way you can get it faster is if you buy it. So if you know, I was thinking, it's not that pay to win. Because Bon is not really all that good anymore. He has Holy Relic on, on Twigo, by the way. Twigo, as soon as, like, <laughs> this is the combo, right? Bon has the Holy Relic, so if Arthur dies, if you kill Arthur, he still gets the HP. And when Twigo comes to the field, he has a taunt. It's the, the one-two punch. He has a, a taunt and a extra 30% HP related stats for two turns. Seems to be a buff, so if you're using the Margaret team, 
you can't remove if Goddess Liz, like you can remove the taunt from Arthur. Don't think that was like specifically intentional, but just pointing that out. So yeah. Just adds to the fact that this is very pay to win. This these holy relics, the the, the fact that they pumped out the bundle so soon. Like the rage I felt, I feel justified. Seeing Ban as number two, I feel very with Holy Relics, I feel very much justified on being so angry at the fact that they pumped that bundle in the first week. Because it's very pay to win. Margaret is still better, I feel like. But I can't say 100 percent because I don't have the Holy Relic and I'm not buying it. So Makes me want to buy it, to try it out, but I'm holding myself.